Hopkins. Make sure the whole of Sydney watches at 6.30 on a Sunday night, even just for three months to establish, and then you can do whatever you want to do. And oh, but stay with us. Act two, Misty Blue from uh, New South Wales. Misty is... Uh... Oh, Misty is two people. <laughs> Misty Blue, I thought it was Misty Blue, as in Misty Blue. Uh, it's a vocal duo, and it comprises Catherine and Kerry Long. Beth performed at weddings, concerts and clubs, musicals. They studied singing with Joanne Dre for, for two years. And this is their very first television appearance. Uh, Misty Blue from New South Wales, Act Two, and something better to do. Down. I wonder how many people remember patience and prudence back in the late uh, 50s and 60s and got to get along without you now and the money tree. Yeah. Sounded very much like them and two lovely girls, Catherine and Kerry, Misty Blue from New South Wales. Bob. Well, Misty and Blue, um, <laughs> <coughs> the, first thing, the first thing you did was choose a terrific number because that's got the right tempo for the, the voices. What you've done, which is terrific, <coughs> pardon me, you've given the act a tone. In other words, in your unison passages, you're singing exactly the same tone, which is beautiful for unison. But when you're singing harmony, the, the lady with the dark hair, uh, Misty, is it? Kathy. Kathy, you're holding your mic a little further than... Kerry. Kerry. A little further than Kerry, and it'd be a little bit awkward the to balance. Lawrence. In other words, it, <laughs> it throws the balance just a little bit out. But that's a, a good number. The unison gives it a lovely tone. I try working in front of a large mirror so that you can perfect those movements right down to the, that much degree. But I think you've got a great future. Keep at it. Work in front of a mirror. 39. 39? Right. That's uh, Bobby, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> gotcha. 
It's always a good idea, as Bobby suggests, to work in front of a mirror. In fact, you probably have, I would imagine, at times, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yeah. Uh, the only thing I find a little bit worrying, sometimes I remember years ago when I was young and fit and used to go to gymnasiums, a lot of guys used to stand in front of uh, mirrors flexing their muscles. And I wasn't quite too sure about some of them. <laughs> but uh, it certainly is a good idea and it works. And everything that Bobby said is true. Now, Kathy, you were singing the high part, weren't you? No, I was singing the high part. Things are going well so far, aren't they? <laughs> you never trust anyone who works in the catering business or as a waiter because you know, you've got two people sitting at the table, the steak and the chicken, you're always going to get it wrong. What's that got to do with the fact that... <laughs> well, I got the 50 He's 50... Not, well, it's not just in the foot. 50-50 <laughs> chance of getting the name right and I got them wrong. 50-50 chance also. So, uh, uh, Kathy on... Uh, I was, was singing sing the high part. The Kerry was singing the high part. She's the, Shall I start again? <laughs> Kerry, when you sing the high part, you're going a little bit thin. I think you were probably a little nervous tonight, were you? Probably no, not. the other uh, one was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Give a block a chance here, will you? Sure. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure the sound is very, very good and it's a cute idea and the breakaway and the harmonies are very, very good and I did take into account the fact that, uh, Kerry, you were a little nervous tonight because the high voice tended to go, ooh, and wave around a bit. But a super idea and brilliantly done, I thought. 39 also. 39, you hit the front with a 78. Misty Blue from New South Wales. Thank you, girls, whoever you are. After the hit cover offer.